What's up, guys? Welcome back. It's your boy, Daddy Dave here. Today, we're going to be talking about, yes, yes, as you can see, my new blacked out taillights. Obviously, you guys can see that it is the stock taillight. And I had some guys come over, paid them a little measly little 30 bucks to come and spray it. You know, do a little tint, make it look cool. And I don't know if you guys can see, they made a little run. So I said, okay, let me go and do a little touch up. And ended up getting this. Put my coffee down. Rustoleum lens tint for off road use only. Eee, not so smart, huh? Because they are pretty dark. I'm going to show you guys in a little bit when I turn the lights on. Um, you can see it pretty well. It's not that bad. But the bottle, I'm sorry, the spray can he used. He took the actual wrap off so you couldn't see what it was, right? This spray is a little thicker. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. Not not this one so much because I had to spray this a little more. If you you kind of you kind of can see how here it's a little smoother. It looks a little smooth in here. You see how it kind of looks a little rougher. So you could do that. You can feel that. See here is not as bad. Come here, you can really hear it. That this Rustoleum spray is way darker, and the actual um, the stuff is a little bit thicker. So I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend this. I would get something that, uh, like I said, guys, I'm not you know, rocket science here. I don't know the exact exactly the um the actual um you know type of stuff that's in it to where it makes it thick or it makes it thin or you know a little shiny because it doesn't say gloss or nothing you know it says for use on tail lights fog lights or turn indicators okay it's the the can sprayed really well as you can see, I kind of had to do a little bit over here too. You can kind of see it's a little darker and it kind of has that rougher looking, uh, you know, uh, spray on there. But it actually, just, it looks good. It looks good, like I said, from afar. You know, you, you can't really tell, obviously, when someone's driving behind you, you know, no one's gonna be like this close, you know what I mean? So, um, overall, it's okay, I like it. I don't recommend the cheap route. You know, tail lights for these things, dude, are like 200 and some odd dollars. But let me go ahead and crank her up. I wanna hold you guys up here. Let me go ahead and crank her up. Like I said, it's, uh, I don't even know what time it is. It's around five o'clock here in Fort Worth. Uh, so I'm gonna show you. Go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Okay, now see, it it looks pretty good. Um, I wish the guy didn't rush it. I, I kind of was over his, you know, watching over him, so maybe he got nervous, and I kind I kind of pointed out where he he missed a lot here because it's this part, all this part here, this is all chrome. This part here is all chrome you know, on these F one fifty, these uh. 09 to 14 F-150s. They're chrome there, so you kind of got to really spray in there, and he didn't, he kind of rushed it, and I pointed it out on it, and I think when he sprayed that last spray, he made it run. So be careful when you do it. You know, don't, don't you don't want any runs, because it's going to kind of look like that, but, I mean, all in all, guys, it really shows the, the light, even with that spray. So, 
I would kind of do your research, do your homework on these uh, tint sprays, you know, for your, your headlights or your taillights or whatever you want to spray. Do your homework because this Rust Oleum spray is a little thicker than others, okay? But yeah, other than that, man, I mean, she looks pretty good. You know, I can't wait to check it out tomorrow morning before I go to work. I kind of sprayed the right side a little more than the left, so I don't know if you can kind of tell. It looks a little darker. Well, maybe I'm just overly thinking it, but other than that, it's not that bad. And uh, I'm glad you guys tuned in today. Appreciate it. Check you guys next time.